How's it, Quentin? Very, very well played. Um, I'm interested to know whether the fact that you're no longer playing test cricket is, has, has helped your form in the white ball formats. You've had a hell of a run of form, you know, since December. Do you think not having to bother with test cricket has is, is, is helped that? Um, I don't think so. I'm not too sure, to be honest. I haven't really thought about it. Um, I think I've always been a decent white ball player anyway. Um, so I don't know if it is that. Um, so yeah, I haven't really looked into it. So I wouldn't, I don't think so at this moment. Thanks, Telford. We're going to go Hines, then Ken, then Bruce. Um, hi, Quinton. Very well played. Um, congrats. Um, I know you're a guy that doesn't necessarily dwell too much on these type of things, but was I know you missed out perhaps on a century, but was that, but was that one of the most satisfying innings you've played in, in some time? I mean, it just seems that you got that you just timed the ball so well, you know, pierce the gaps, you know, and without almost like an inkling of, I always want to say, overly aggressive intent. Was that quite satisfying? Yeah, I think it's obviously nice getting out there, scoring runs for the guys. Um, obviously, we've had a little bit of time off from our last series, so it was nice just to get out and spend some time in the middle. Um, it's always satisfying, um, whether I'm going at a high strike or a low striker, as long as I can just help out the team, it's always satisfying, I guess. Thanks, Hines. Ken? How's it, Quinny? Uh, uh, lovely knock, well done. Um, just in, in terms of satisfaction, um, I know you were going great guns uh, towards the end of your innings, 92 of 76, but it seemed at the start that England actually bought really well and there was a bit in, bit in that pitch. How pleased were you that, um, you know, it wasn't the easiest to start for you, uh, but you showed really good judgment in, in managing to get through that and just gave yourself the time to actually then dominate the bowling. Yeah, um, obviously the wicket was, there was a bit of swing, there was a bit of movement in the wicket, so it's just a matter of just soaking up the pressure. Um, obviously, it's 50 overs, a long, long time to bat, so obviously was able to do that, um, but still remain strong in my positions. Um, and what I wanted to get done. So um, still try and put away the bad balls while having a strong defence. Um, that was just the game plan. Uh, just keep the ball on the floor for as long as we can. Because uh, obviously on this outfield, it looks like there was a lot of value for shots here. So that was just uh, the plan out there. Thanks, Ken, for those. And then we'll see if there's anyone on the floor before we hand over to Zahir. Hi, Quinny, well done. Uh, Connie, can you talk to us a little bit about your own uh, workload and, and how you've thought about that? Obviously, with, with Ben Stokes retiring, that's sort of a focus point now. And, and I know you said maybe you haven't thought about if it, not playing test cricket has, has helped you, but is it just freed up your calendar or how are you feeling about the amount of cricket that you play? Um, to be honest, no, it hasn't freed up my calendar, uh, or at least for not this year. Um, I've been roped in to play a couple of leagues, so to think about where I need to where I need to be uh, where I want to be in my career so you know it's, it's as long as I could do it at my own pace I'm happy thanks for those we'll take some from the floor B um, as a left-hander what difference does it make for you facing up against three test off seamers in, in one team it's obviously quite an unusual setup is that a, a more tricky prospect or does it actually help you get used to it and then no, it is tricky. I must be honest. I don't think it's, I've ever been played against a team that's played three uh, left arm seamers swinging it around. Um, but in saying that, before the series, we kind of thought that might happen. Um, so obviously, we did some preparation for it. So I wasn't caught off guard or anything. Um, so yeah, it was. It is strange. I'm so used to facing right hand bowlers. Um, obviously, it's more of a comfort thing because you're so used to it over the years and to come face three left arm seamers swinging around uh, with greats with good skills. So, um, yeah, I mean, we kind of foresee it happening and then so that's why we prepared for it. Thanks, Dean. Um, hi, Quinny. Just, just wondering a bit on the Ben Stokes retirement as well. I mean, you obviously decided to go the other way around. Are you actually, with a bit of time and perspective, how do you feel about that decision that you made now? And do you think that the age of players playing all formats internationally is kind of coming 
Yeah, you know, I think it's I think it's gonna start being tough for players. Um, look, three formats is a lot, uh, especially by the looks of it, it looks like more games are happening over the over the calendar years. Um, but look, I think I think players need to individually, if they feel they can do it, then happy with them. Then obviously some decisions, some guys need to take into their own hands. Um, sometimes. You know, longer periods need to be off. So obviously, yeah, I think it's just a personal decision. Um, for me, I'm still happy where I am. Um, obviously, Stokes has just happened, so I don't, I don't know the answer to that. Um, but yeah, I think it's, it is coming to a time where, especially, I think if you're still young, you know, still in your career, I still think you need to play all three formats, uh, get through, get through your career. Um, get through some things that you need to get done in your career. I think it starts getting harder the older you start getting. Uh, the body doesn't doesn't stop, doesn't stop uh, quite cooperate anymore like it used to. So and it's just a bit of a manage, management thing in order for us to prolong our careers. Thank you. We'll take one more from the floor before we round off the press con with Sahir. I mean, uh, I mean, just wondering uh, that you are talking about playing all three formats and recently in past few weeks there has been a lot of talk about, you know, 50 over format and its future. Do you see that uh, current 50 over, are you currently happy with the current format of the 50 over cricket or do you think that we need to make changes, some changes to make it more, you know, more attractive for the crowd? Um, no, I don't think so. I think. I think, look, I want to say that we need to play more games, but I, like, I don't see where, like, it's, there's a bit of a grey area with it, because um, obviously you don't, we can't play so much cricket, but we need to, it doesn't help, cause I think we're only going to play nine ODIs in one year. So it doesn't, there's a bit of a grey area to it. So um, I think that's all it needs. I think the game is doing well for itself at the moment, uh, the way. Players are going about it uh, from the from a batting to a bowling competitiveness. I think um, th there is obviously a future of it. We still got World Cups um, that that we want to play, and a lot of us still want to win 50 over World Cups. Um, so it's still a lot to play for. Um, but like I said, there's a bit of a grey area. I'm just a cricketer. I'm not an administrator, so it's not really my decision. Thanks. Um, thank you very much. Uh, so here we'll round off Quinny's press conference with Sal. Hi, uh, um Just uh, in terms of you only playing white ball cricket, uh, when you come into the side, do you, do you feel that uh, you've got to make an impact? Because uh, you, you're only there for a, a limited time. And, and also just uh, looking forward to the T20 World Cup. Um, like, th is this good prep for uh, what's, what's coming up ahead? I think with whether I'm a one or any player, one former player, or you play all three, they're always trying to always trying to make an impact it doesn't matter how many games you play I think that's what we are for we, that's what we're trying to do every game so it doesn't matter it doesn't matter how many formats you play um, and yeah obviously it's it's key for us to play these games um, in thinking there's a T20 World Cup this year but there's also a 50 over World Cup next year um, so things are happening quickly so um, we all just take it step by step um, obviously this series was our main focus was to um, you know, play well as a team, uh, sort out one or two things, uh, then now it's onto the T20s where we need to prepare and obviously look look closer in time with the T20 World Cup. So um, it's always moving. Um, it's not a stagnant things that happen. You know, it's always moving because we always need to prepare for World Cups. So, um, so yeah.